the Echo Slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Hello, Gamer Nom is back. And in this video, I will show you how the new Bloodline Perfected Wings will destroy the rarest Bloodline of them all, the Ripple Eyes. But before that, guys, how do you unlock the Perfected Wings? Again, it is part of the latest Fight Pass, Fight Pass 4, Tier 45. Correct me if I'm wrong, I think it's Tier 45, right? First, let's talk about the Ripple Eyes. Guys, Ripple Eyes, when it first came out, I was, my mind was blown. Check that effects. I thought it was the best bloodline ever. I wanna get it. I spent lots of uh, Chikara shards to get it. But I'm kinda disappointed. Again, you need Chikara shards to get it. When I tried to unlock it again, it took me like 15 tries. So times 4,000 Chikara shards. That's like 60,000 plus. So I got the Ripple Eyes. Okay, so first I'm gonna show you the skills of the Ripple Eyes for the new players in order for you to see it first. It has three skills. First is a universal pool. Did you see that? Even though I'm on top of the hill. Guys, you can use this in the tournament dimension, but I don't know if this is good to use. But for trolling, yes. But I suggest that you don't do it. Okay, I'm just showing it to you. There you go. Next up, I'm going to show the second and third skill in Tournament Dimension, okay? Okay, that's it. Tournament Dimension. Second skill, the Almighty Push. Did you see that AOE? So cool, guys. If we're talking about effects, Ripple Ice is one of the best. But guys, check the damage. Check the damage. 34 or 35 damage. Guys, that's so low. I even have uh, Escanor and Explosive Nova. Next up is the Planetary Devastation. This skill is so cool, guys. When it first came out, oh, the best. But, do you wanna see the damage, guys? Do you wanna see the damage? See that? We've already used the second and the third skill of Ripple Ice, but the damage is still so low. Okay, I'm gonna show you the damage of the Planetary Devastation. There you go. Going up, going up, going up. Guys, can you guess the damage? 20 damage. Oh my golly. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Now let's compare it to the perfected wings. For me, guys, just for me, if you're new in the game and you don't have the Kurama bloodline, this is the best bloodline. Okay? For me, just for me. Okay, let's try the first skill. Now, Erosis is going to attack us. Did you see that? I activated the first skill. Did you notice what happened? The enemy used uh, Sun Fist. I also used Sun Fist, but I was able to dodge this attack. So this is the universal copy. You don't need to use any skill aside from this. The enemy will attack you, and you can copy it. Okay? See that? Boom. I used two skills there. The Star Spangled Smash and the Sun Fist. Again, slow motion. I activated the skill, the universal copy. Okay. I guess that's better than the dodge skill of the copy ice bloodline, right? Do you agree? Me, I kinda agree with that. Next up, let's try the long range skills or powers. For let's just... try the multiple rushing shuriken. This is a boss drop. Boom. Dodge, and then you're gonna use it back to your enemy. This is still so cool, but guys, I want you to notice my cursor. My cursor is pointing at the enemy. What will happen if you're not pointing at the enemy and use your universal copy? Obviously, he will throw it on that area. So guys, if you're thinking you're a phone user, this will be hard for you. Even though you're a desktop user and you're fighting in a tournament dimension, this will be kinda difficult for you, right? Okay, so... Next up, if someone's using a special, you can dodge the damage, but the stuns, for example, this is smoke fruit. You cannot copy the smoke fruit. Again, you can only dodge the damage. Did you see that? You were able to dodge the damage, but you cannot da dodge the stun, and you cannot copy it for specials. Okay, so I hope that is clear. Okay, next up, we're gonna use the second skill. This one's cool. You see that? 
the Sengen with a wing, etc. It's called the Kunai Wings. So, it's simple. You just over your course with it. Ah, is that? There you go. The Sengen with wings. Damage. Not bad. But guys, I want you to notice this. When your enemy is at the center and you flick that skill, do you see that? Your enemy will move. Again, the damage is 40. Okay. So, if you want to use this, you need to stun it first, right? Why am I telling you this? I will show it to you later. Don't worry. Stun and skill. There you go. The enemy won't move. Okay, guys. Let me show you the third skill, which is called the Skeleton Transform. Okay, so you will transform into a Susano with wings, perfected wings. So, cool. So, how will this affect the Kunai wing? Uh, we call that Kunai wings, right? It will increase the quantity of your Kunai wings to 3. Okay, instead of 1, 3. So the damage, 40 times 3, 120. Okay, is that good? Right. Well, let's heal our friend first. Okay, now we're gonna destroy him again. So again, stun. Let's use a stun. And Kunai Wings. For a damage of four, 120. Okay, there you go. 120 damage. Not bad. Without champion. This is without champion. So if you're thinking, is this... Uh, special, Bloodline, good in Tournament Dimensions. I think this is good. But I cannot try it yet because everyone's always choosing Juggernaut mode. So let's try it with a champion, Escanor. 80 damage. 80 times 3 is 240. And the, and the HP of an enemy in Tournament dimension is 250. Guys, that's a lot. But again, the enemy is not using any transformation or champion to decrease the damage go so last one thing about perfected wings i want to test the defense if you transform into perfect skeleton your defense will increase by 30 percent okay that's 30 percent instead of 10 the damage is 7 now we're gonna try both bloodlines in the boss fights first we're gonna use ripple eyes with Explosive Nova and Escanor, guys, you cannot use Explosive Nova with the Perfected Wings because it is a transformation and the third skill of the Perfected Wings is a transformation. Now we use the Universal Pull, no damage. Obviously, you cannot pull a boss. <laughs> it's too big and it is a boss. Next up, we have the Almighty Push. We have 34 damage even with Explosive Nova and Escanor. That's really, really low. And the other one, we're gonna use the planetary devastation, guys. The damage, you'll not see it immediately. Okay, compare. Do you remember when we used it in the tournament dimension? When the ball explodes, that's the time that the damage will appear. Okay. Now, okay. I think the ball already exploded. See, uh, let's check the damage. So, one k minus thirty plus, and okay, okay, there you go. I think the damage is almost 100, right? But again, guys, that's the C skill. 100 damage for both skills. That's so low. So, guys, I don't know. Tournament Dimension, this sucks. Boss fights, it sucks. For trolling, maybe. But, guys, I don't suggest this bloodline. Now, to show you how Perfected Wings will destroy this boss and the ripple eyes to end this debate first kill so you can dodge boss attacks you see that for five seconds i computed it five seconds there you go did you see that after five seconds we've been damaged next up we're gonna use the kunai wings oh, okay i want to see the damage the damage is again guys we cannot use 120 120 we cannot use explosive nova because we have the skeleton transformation. So if you use the skeleton transformation, three kunai wings, or uh, 360, not bad. The cooldown is not that long. So while running, you can use it. Comparing it to ripple eyes, this one is better. So to wrap things up, again for me, this is a lot better for new players, guys. Try to unlock this, okay? So that will be it. Again, ripple eyes destroyed. This is gamer nom, and gamer nom out.